want some details about next year. This morning at a business breakfast hosted by the Business Council of PNG, the private sector was given an outlook of the country's economy over the coming months. The slowdown in the economy has been quite noticeable, with the private sector feeling the brunt of the pinch, especially when dealing with the lack of foreign exchange. Michael Penrose, Business Council Vice President, when addressing the audience, gave some examples of clear indicators of the economic strain. Indications coming out from Pricewaterhouse, KPMG and Deloitte is that most of their bigger clients are probably down on average about 35% against the same period last year, which is quite significant, you know, when you, you put it in the context of, um, you know, where we are at the moment. Um, I suppose it goes without saying that you can imagine what the smaller to medium-sized businesses are probably experiencing, the, the, the levels of decline they're probably experiencing. Um, the other key probably indicator that um, in our last recent consultative um, session that we had, um, some of the data coming through from BSB was that FPOS transactions for the last three quarters are down about 9%. So probably giving another indi indicator in terms of uh, consumer, con uh, consumer sentiment at the moment. Despite the negative picture painted of the coming months, business houses remain committed to finding solutions during these tough times. Hard decisions need to be made about stopping things that are actually being funded at the moment. Um, stopping things that are not yet funded, as in not making promises to spend, is a much easier political outcome than actually trying to stop something that people already have uh, in their pocket or a job that's already created. According to the Department of Treasury, gradual consolidation will return the economy to a fiscal sustainable path, maintaining debt to GDP at a sustainable level and return to a balanced budget by 2020. Making sure we provide, government provides that enabling environment, in, you know, continue to invest in infrastructure and of course look at the uh, the enabling regulatory environment that try to support the, uh, the growth of the uh, private sector, obviously we all know is the engine of uh, growth. Although the medium-term outlook for PNG's economy plans for modest increases in revenue and expenditure until 2020, according to the Asian Development Bank, forward revenue projections may not be realistic without the fiscal consolidation the government has committed to, which may result in PNG likely to miss its fiscal targets. Leon Gerari, National MTV News.